my favorite uh, sloka from the Bhagavad Gita is in the end. I like the Bhagavad Gita where Krishna tells Partha, Oh Partha, I told you everything you need to do. Now go and decide for yourself what you want to follow, what you want to do. Because Gita Upadesha is Krishna's discourse on life and sustainability, our dharma, our karma, our duty, how to live with others, the origins of existence, the origins of creation, and how shall we face this life. It's a life's message. Like Radha said, every time you have a difficulty, you open a verse in the Gita and the answer is there. Because Bhagavad Gita gives the answers to life dilemmas. In our life, we face many dilemmas, right or wrong, what to do when there are multiple roads, which road to take, should we stand up for the truth, should we bow before insolent might, what is the purpose of our life, why are we born, why do we die, what is the reason for existence, what is the purpose of our life. It gives us great happiness because in life, we live under stress, there is a lot of stress in life and how can we calm down, how can we relax, how can we have peaceful sleep? How can we be at peace with ourselves? That can only happen if you chant the Gita, read the Gita constantly. Because the Gita gives you sukkar. It gives you true bliss. Chanting Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, many times, calms the mind down. And a calm mind is the most important thing. Because if you have a calm mind and you have less stress, you are healthy. Health is the most important thing in our lives. And we are subject to so much of stress. So everybody is good. I think they must read the Gita, understand the Gita, and they will have a better life, a happier life. And that's why we must distribute the Gita in our country.